kind of understood where the, the big boss was coming from, saying you shouldn't do that. And the reason why you shouldn't do that is exactly what's going on right now. Iran is fucking with us, already putting out tweets saying, oh, your, your, your ships are all sick with COVID-19, your, your military is garbage now. That's precisely why he should have never sent those letters. And I did feel bad for him, but I'm not a military guy, so I don't know the business. But that general who blasted him, he wound up resigning because he kind of felt bad, I guess. He was like, I don't want to make a big deal. I'll just resign. I'm talking about the head honcho, not the guy that wrote the letter, the admiral. I'm rambling on. The bottom line is this. That fucking boss man, the general, as much as when he first said it, I was like, ah, that's not right. I don't know shit about that stuff, but now I do. He was right. You should never send a letter out like that because it makes you look weak. And uh, that's just a thought that I have, and I don't know shit. There's my, there's my tiger cage, you see it? I bought a baby tiger, but that's a different story. Exotic Joe. Joe Exotic sent it to me in the mail. But again, that guy was right. You know, maybe he should have used different words, but he was right. That cause now, Iran's got their balls. Oh, we'll destroy them, bro. I'm sure of it. Just call my boy Keith. He's a Marine. Um, I don't know how much pull he has, but he could probably get in there and just fuck up Iran by himself. But I regress. Again, that boss man was right. The other guy had good intentions, I guess, but because you're a military man, he should have known better. And I'm not a military man, but I learned something today when I saw Iran tweet that, and that bothers me. Even though they're fucking shit asses. Alright, goodbye.